Shalom, 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 my brothers and my sisters. This is your brother, Yael Ezra Ben Levy, coming at you again with another quick video. And I do mean this will be a quick video. I will not be before you long at all. So let's just get right into it. I will be doing this reading from out of the King James Version of the Bible. I would like you for you to join me in the book of Isaiah, chapter 45. I will only read one verse and one verse only. That will be verse five. And I will like to submit this verse as evidence to show and prove without a shadow of a doubt. I know who my maker is. I know who my God is. And I serve the true and living one, the eternal one, the holy one of Israel. I want you to hear his report. I want you to hear this right here and know without a shadow of a doubt, I can't be in error. I'm going to say it again. I cannot be in error if I'm standing on this right here. Okay, let me get right into it. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 5. I'm going to read it first as it reads in the King James. Then I want to bring honor to the name of the creator by restoring his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. Now allow me to read it again. I am Yehoah, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. Now, Yehoah made it perfectly clear who he is. He is our God. And if you are Israel, you have no other God other than Yehoah. When our fathers walked in their righteousness, they only had one God. When our fathers walked in wickedness, they had many gods. But when they walked in their righteousness, they had Yehoah as their Elohim, as their source, as their power. But in their wickedness, they had many gods, many strange foreign gods and names of no names that no name deities that flowed from their lips. But in their righteousness, it was itself. They serve the one true Elohim. And he has a name. Hallelujah. I want to go to another verse, if I may. And I'm going to close with this here. I'm going to close with this right here. Now, if I could just find it, because it's... Is juicy. All righty. Just look at this right here. Okay, this is Isaiah chapter forty four, starting at verse six. Thus said the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first and I am the last. And besides me, there is no God. Hallelujah. Now allow me to read it again. Thus said Yehoah, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, Yehoah of hosts. I am the first and I am the last. And besides me, there is no God. There is no source. There is no power. There is no Elohim. Now, many people want to interpret the text saying this. Thus say Yehoah, the king of Israel. Okay, Yehoah is the king of Israel. But it says, and his redeemer, the Lord of hosts. Some people say when it says, and his redeemer, that that is speaking of another person. 
It's not speaking of another person. It, sh it, it is without a shadow of a doubt not speaking of Jesus or Yahabashai or Yahushua or Yahushua. This is still speaking of Yehovah. It is say, it's saying this. Thus say Yehovah, the king of Israel and his redeemer. He is who? Israel's redeemer is Yehovah. Yehovah is the king of Israel and Yehovah is Israel's redeemer. This is not speaking of two separate deities. This is speaking of Yehovah. He is the king of of Israel, and he is also Israel's redeemer. So my brothers and my sisters, meditate on the word of Jehovah and hold firm to it and do not allow doubt or confusion to take a grip of your heart. I'm going to close with that right there. This is your brother, um, Yael Ezra Ben-Levy. Till next time, family, peace.